is uh, 6 p.m. on Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. I will call this meeting of the Miami Township uh, Montgomery County Board of Trustees to order. If everybody could please stand and join me in facing the virtual flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Morris. Here. Mr. Posey. Here. Mr. Culp. Here. We have no military casualties to report. Uh, Chief Stegelmeyer is uh, out on other business. Mr. Posey, you have first responder casualties. Thank you. Uh, we have uh, 10 casualties to report for the period February 17th, 2021 through March 2nd, 2021. Sergeant Richard Paul Brown from the Fresno Police Department in Fresno, California, end of watch February 17th, 2021. Deputy Sheriff Michael Magley from Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, Pinell Pinellas County, Florida, end of watch February 17th, 2021. Firefighter Philip Ginter, Beavertown Rescue Hose Company, Pennsylvania, end of watch February 20th, 2021. Police Officer Horatio Sebastian Dominguez, Mikosuke Tribal Police Department, end of watch February 21st, 2021. Lieutenant Eugene Lasco, Indiana Department of Corrections, end of watch February 21, 2021. Natural Resource Officer Jason Lagore, Ohio Department of Natural Resources, Division of State Parks and Watercraft. End of watch, February 23rd, 2021. Deputy Sheriff Thomas Albanese, Los Angeles, California County Sheriff's Department. End of watch, February 25th, 2021. Canine Luna, Duluth, Minnesota Police Department. End of watch, February 25, 2021. Reserve Deputy Constable Martinus Mitchum, Second City Court of New Orleans, Louisiana Constable's Office, end of watch, February 26th, 2021. And last, Police Officer Dominic J. Winham, Stanley Police Department, Stanley, Virginia, end of watch, February 26th, 2021. Thank you, everyone. Please join me in recognizing a moment of silence. Thank you. We have no guests or presentations on the agenda. I will make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Is there a second? I will second. Any discussion? Mr. Morris. Aye. Mr. Posey. Aye. Mr. Culp. Aye. Moving on to new business, Mr. Hess, you have uh, resolution 16-2021 surplus property. I believe Mr. Hess is frozen momentarily. Perhaps he will be coming back to us. Let's uh, jump over to Mr. McCord for resolution 17. Good evening, board. Uh, resolution 17 is an authorization to proceed with a bond refunding uh, this will be the third uh, group of bonds that we have brought up that are eligible for refunding that we've done in the last two years. The, um, I received early this morning or late last night, actually, I got the uh, projected estimates. Uh, right now, if we could do it right, you know, tomorrow morning, it, the present save, the net present value of the savings between now and 2033 would be over 1.3 million. Uh, we estimate the closing of this uh, bond refunding, getting through the bond rating and everything to be sometime mid-April, but we are optimistic that the markets will continue to hold uh, about where they are right now. But uh, as soon as I uh, finish going through that uh, detailed presentation that they sent over of an estimate, I will forward it to you all for your review and invite you to ask, you know, have any questions or anything uh, to please let me know. I did look into, um, I did have a request to look into see if we could perhaps increase the amount of the refunding to cover some uh, immediate needs within one, you know, within the TIFs. 
And uh, word back from council was that we, we cannot increase the amount of principal balance that's been that's being refunded from the original issue. Uh, but he did remind me that we could use uh, TIF revenues to take care of maintenance issues within the TIFs uh, and still be uh, in compliance with the law. So it wasn't an immediate fix for the full amount, but it did at least remind us that we could use those funds for repairs down, uh, like, for example, at the roads at Austin Landing or something. So uh, with that, I will uh, open up for any questions anybody may have, uh, or I'll pass it back to uh, Mr. Hess. Any questions for Mr. McCord on the resolution 17, 2021? Uh, how many more of these types of bond refinancing are we eligible to complete or do you, are in the pipeline? This will be the last for right now. The next window will open up for us in 2025. Most of the bonds that were issued had a 10 year lock. So uh, we, we look at it, but I believe the next round won't be until 2025. And this particular group of bonds was a little bit tricky because it's the group that's co-shared with Springboro and Miamisburg. So it was a bit of a delay in getting everybody lined up in it on everybody's agenda. So uh, these actually became eligible uh, during the year last year. So we're, we're catching up and I believe the other two uh, entities are gonna refinance as well. Thank you. Mr. Hess, you have resolution 16, 2021. You appear to be back with us. Or maybe not. Frozen, yeah. Yeah. Mr. McCord, can you speak to 16? I, yeah, I believe it's a, it's a list of other assets that we've identified as we're going through and kind of cleaning out from years of accumulated technology and, and other items. Uh, I have not seen the specific list that he that Ron brought forward, but um, one of the things he did talk to me about, and he's been in conversation with our law director, is perhaps looking at a mechanism for since we're limited time rule to put together where we would report back to to the board what had been retired when we either acquire a new asset or replace an asset, rather than bringing each individual item up for a, a specific vote. Um, I don't know the outcome of that research and I see Ron moving now in the background. So we'll, we'll try to do a seamless handoff. So hopefully I'm not frozen again. Um, the items that were attached to this resolution is just surplus furniture that we've either replaced or came over from the renovations of the police department. Um, I've reached out to some of the smaller townships to see if they want some of the items. Uh, I've got some positive feedback from them. So again, as uh, Mr. McCord said, we're trying to look at a process that I don't have to come to you each time, but this will get rid of the majority. The unused and um, unwanted uh, excess furniture we have in, in the building. Thank you for completing that sentence, Mr. McCord. Yes, the uh, packet uh, was complete. Each of the trustees have had a chance to review the materials that are up for surplus in this resolution. Are there any questions for Mr. Hess or Mr. McCord on resolution 16, 2021? All right, hearing none, we will open up the meeting to the public comment period. If there is anybody attending this Zoom meeting who wishes to address the Board of Trustees, now would be the time to use the raise your hand function. Uh, to alert Mr. Snyder, he will bring you into the meeting and you will be able to address the board. I do not see any in my hand at this time. All right, we will move forward off the public comment period and we will consider votes of resolutions and motions. I will make a motion to approve resolution 16-2021, a resolution to declare property as surplus property and authorize the disposal of said property. Is there a second? Yeah, I'll second. Any discussion? Mr. Morris. Aye. Mr. Posey. Aye. Mr. Culp. Aye. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 17-2021, a resolution authorizing Miami Township, Montgomery County, Ohio, known as the township, to issue bonds in the amount of not to exceed $13 million for the purpose of redeeming its Miami Township, Montgomery County, Ohio Road Improvement Bonds Series 2010C, Austin Road 
interchange and related project dated July 30, 2010 and issued in the original principal amount of $11,519,999.68, refunding the Montgomery County Transportation Improvement District, Ohio, Transportation Improvement Special Obligation Bonds, Series 2010B, Austin Roads Interchange and Related Projects, dated July 30, 2010, and issued in the original principal amount of $20,335,000, approving a preliminary official statement, authorizing the preparation, use, and execution of an official statement, and approving and authorizing the execution and delivery of a certificate of a fiscal officer, a bond purchase agreement, a continuing disclosure certificate, a bond registrar agreement, and an escrow deposit agreement, and other related matters in connection herewith, further detailed in multiple sections, and attachments, a total of 25 sections. Is there a second? I will second as long as I do not have to repeat what you just said. Any discussion? I would offer that I spoke with uh, Mr. McCord on this and as he indicated in the presentation of this, one of the things I wanted to investigate was clearly we taking on this bond refinancing as an opportunity to save the township funds. Um, we will lower our payments through a lower interest rate. This is very similar to a home refinancing situation, just with much larger dollars and in a government scale. My question was, can we potentially increase the principal amount to fund uh, infrastructure improvements that are needed uh, in this area? Because this was issued in 2010. It's now 10 years later. We have maintenance that's due. We can pay for that maintenance with the savings that we're incurring here. My question was, can we just expand the principal um, and pay for it in one lump sum? The answer was no. The other point of confusion in this was uh, borrowing not to exceed $13 million. The outstanding principal is much closer to $8 million. In the end, this resolution will only be funded for the amount of principal that's outstanding as was stated earlier. So any further discussion? Mr. Morris. Aye. Mr. Posey? Aye. Mr. Culp? Aye. Are there any department heads that would like to come forward? We have no public hearings. This would be the department head comment. I do have a comment, Mr. President. Go ahead, sir. So I just wanted to note that in your packets tonight, we did have uh, three residents of the township who have volunteered their services uh, to participate on either our Board of Zoning Appeals or our Zoning Commission. We've submitted their uh, resumes and information to the board in your packets tonight. Uh, Mr. Carlson and I did meet with each of these individuals. They seem to possess a variety of skill sets that would be useful to uh, the boards and the commission. Uh, we do feel that they're qualified to serve on these uh, bodies, but uh, this is an appointed position uh, at the discretion of the Board of Trustees, so we submit uh, these three individuals to you for consideration. If there are no objections from the board, we would uh, plan to bring back resolutions to appoint them formally at uh, the upcoming uh, Board of Trustees meeting later this month. So I'd be happy to take any questions, but otherwise uh, the information is in your packets. I have reviewed the resumes and I am uh, very much appreciative of these individuals for stepping forward and volunteering their time to serve on our Board of uh, Zoning Appeals and our Zoning Board. Um, and I would highly recommend the other trustees, I'm sure have already reviewed them as well, but provide comments back to the staff. And I look forward to uh, seeing a resolution to formally appoint them to the open positions. Any other department heads wishing to offer comment? Elected officials comments, Mr. Newell. I have none. Mr. Posey. Yeah, I uh, wanted to comment on a um, something in the newspaper earlier in the week, multiple jurisdictions were involved in, a, uh, police jurisdictions involved in a stop on 75 that ended with some property damage to our cruisers. Uh, a few uh, officers injured, thankfully none from our department. Uh, while our cruisers are replaceable, our officers aren't. I'm thankful that the injuries weren't more serious. I'm thankful for our police department, and I would remind our residents to be careful around traffic stops, whether on Interstate 75 or in the community. 
Mr. Colt. I have none. I have uh, only one comment. I'm sure Mr. Posey is anxious for the meeting to end so he can attend the uh, Wright State Raider pep rally as they uh, are the number one seed in their conference tournament. So I'm uh, thankful that we had a short agenda for the evening. I'm ready to go watch basketball. Let's do it. <laughs> I will uh, make a motion to adjourn at 6.15. Thank you all for attending tonight.